Hi guys, in the previous lecture that is the lecture number 23A, we solved the previous year gate problem from 1991 to 2012 based on buck converter. Now in this lecture that is the lecture number 23B, we will solve again the gate problem from 2013 to 2017 based on buck converter. Okay, so let us move to the first problem. In the first problem it is saying that a separately excited DC motor in the figure below DC motor has rated armature current of 20 ampere here the armature current is 20 ampere and rated armature voltage of 150 volt here rated voltage is v naught is equal to 150 volt is given that is rated an ideal chopper of switching frequency 5 kilohertz is used to control the armature voltage means i am using chopper this is chopper okay this is used to control the armature voltage this is the armature voltage v naught and this way v naught rated is given as 150 volt and this chopper frequency is 5 kilohertz if la is equal to 1 milli henry the uh, separately excited dc motor having inductor that is equal to 0 0.1 milli henry and ra is given as 1 ohm Neglecting armature reaction, the duty ratio of the chopper to obtain the 50% of rated torque at rated speed means we have to find the duty cycle, okay, at which this separately excited DC motor will run at 50% of T rated, okay, rated torque is denoted as T rated. Now we know that torque is proportional to what? Phi into ia here separately excited dc motor is given means flux is constant so torque is proportional to ia now in this question 20 ampere is the rated armature current so at ia is equal to 20 ampere we will get torque rated t rated is proportional to 20 ampere because rated current ia is given that is equal to 20 ampere so t rated i will get when ia will be 20 ampere so half of the t rated I will get when IA will be 20 by 2 that is equal to 10 ampere. So when 10 ampere current will flow into the armature of separately excited DC motor then I will get 50% of rated torque in the machine. Okay. So we have to find the duty cycle for which the armature current will be 10 ampere. Now see here first find the EMF produced in this uh, DC motor that is equal to V naught minus IA into RA. V naught is given as rated voltage is given as 150 minus rated current is given as 20 into RA is given as 1. So E is will come out to be 130 volt that is constant. Okay, so E will be 130 volt. Now to run this DC motor, 50% of rated torque. What will be the new armature current? The new armature current that is equal to 10 ampere. Okay. So what will be the V naught? V naught new will be E plus I naught into RA that is equal to 130 plus 10 into 1 that is equal to 140 volt. Okay. So we found V naught new. Then what is the duty cycle? Duty cycle in buck converter is nothing but V naught upon Vs that is equal to 140 upon 200 which you will get 0 0.7 see the next problem figure 1 shows the circuit diagram of chopper the switch AC in the circuit is in figure 1 is switched such that the voltage VD across diode has the wave shape given like this this waveform has the waveform of voltage drop across this diode okay remember this this is the voltage drop across diode now second point is the capacitance is so large so that the voltage across it is constant if switch switch s and diode are ideal then peak to peak ripple in the inductor current means we have to find the del il okay so to find the del il what we have to do we have to put first find vl on vl on during on condition what is the voltage vs minus v naught so what is the average value of voltage v naught v naught will be dvs so i can replace like this 1 minus d into vs now find the duty cycle duty cycle it is turn on for this time okay and turn off for this time so what will be the duty cycle duty cycle will be t on t on is 0 0.05 upon total time that is equal to 0 0.1 
so duty cycle will come out to be 0 0.5 okay so it will be 0 0.5 bs and i can replace this l del i l upon during turn on that is dt okay so del i l i will get that is equal to 0 0.5 into vs vs is equal to 100 volt into duty cycle again duty cycle that is 0 0.5 into t upon l now time period is 0 0.1 millisecond it is given here time period is 0 0.1 millisecond and l the value of l is 1 milli henry so it will be 0 0.5 into 100 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 one milli milli will cancel out so finally i will get that is equal to 0 2.5 ampere so del il will come out to be 2.5 ampere this has been asked in gate 2014 in set a now see the next problem in the following chopper the duty ratio of the switch is 0.4 d is given as 0.4 see this is a step down chopper first see whether it is step down or not this is a step down chopper switch is connected here diode is connected here inductor is connected here if the inductor and capacitor are sufficiently large to ensure continuous inductor current means i naught is or you can say that i l is constant in buck converter i naught is equal to i l and ripple free capacitor voltage the charging current of the 5 volt battery, battery under a steady state will be what means we have to find the value of i naught so this is the output voltage v naught right so v naught will come out to be in buck converter d into vs d is given z is equal to 0 0.4 supply voltage is 20 that is equal to 8 volt so this is my v naught now v naught is connected with 3 ohm resistor and 5 volt battery like this right and we have to find the i naught so i naught will be apply kvl v naught minus 5 upon 3 that is equal to 1 ampere see the next problem the circuit shown in mean to supply a resistive load rl load is connected from a separate dc voltage source one dc voltage source is 10 volt and second dc source voltage source is 5 volt the switches s1 s2 are controlled so that only one of them is on at any instant means either this s1 will be on or this s2 will be on these both switch cannot be on at the same time s1 is turned on 4.2 millisecond and s2 is turned on 4.3 millisecond in a 0.5 millisecond switching cycle assuming continuous conduction of the inductor current and negligible ripper on the capacitor voltage the output voltage v naught i have to find see first draw the waveform of output voltage then i can easily find the average output voltage see here it is saying that switch s1 is on for 0 0.2 millisecond let us say s1 is on for 0 0.2 millisecond and s2 is on for 0 0.3 millisecond this is the s2 is on for 0 0.3 millisecond and this is 0 0.5 millisecond right 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 millisecond s2 is on and from 0 to 0 0.2 s1 is on both cannot be on at the same time in the question it is saying and what is the time period is given time period is given 0 0.5 millisecond okay now you have to find the output voltage so see here when s1 will be on then what is the value of output voltage see when s1 will be on then equivalent circuit will look like this this is 10 volt this is s1 will be sorted and this is my output voltage v naught so what is the output voltage v naught will be 10 volt so when switch s1 will be on then v naught will be 10 volt now when this switch s2 will be on then what is the output voltage output voltage i will get that is equal to 5 volt so from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 output voltage i will get that is equal to 5 volt like this okay and this is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.5 in millisecond now you have to find the average output voltage means i have to find the area so first find the area and divide by time period you will get average output voltage so v naught average you will come out to be 10 multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 5 multiplied by 0 0.3 upon 0 0.5 okay area will be 10 multiplied by 0 0.2 this area okay and 5 multiplied by 0 0.3 this is 0 0.3 so it will be summation of this area plus this area divided by total time period so it will come out to be 7 volt so 7 volt is the correct answer just draw the output voltage waveform by turning on different switch 
and find the average output voltage you will get 7 volt okay see the next problem in the buck converter feeding a variable load is shown in the figure the switching frequency of the switch is 100 kilohertz duty ratio is given output voltage is also given that is equal to 36 volt assume that all components are ideal and the output voltage ripple free means we are talking about continuous conduction mode the value of r that will make the inductor current just continuous means we have to find the value of r for which inductor current is just continuous i told you what is the condition of making inductor current just continuous the condition is i l minimum must be equal to zero that is equal to i l minus del i l by 2 must be equal to zero i l can be replaced by i naught del is nothing but d into 1 minus d into vs upon fl that is 2 fl right and i naught can be replaced by v naught upon r then what is the value of r r is equal to 2 v naught fl upon d into 1 minus d vs so for this much value of r this inductor current will be just continuous v naught is given that is equal to 36 volt 2 into 36 uh, this will be 36 into frequency is given 100 kilohertz inductance is given 5 milli henry upon duty cycle is given 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.4 into vs is given 60 so find r r you will get that is equal to 2500 ohm remember here it is asking in ohm the value of r in ohm so do not write 2.5 kilo ohm in the net type question it will be 2500 ohm only otherwise you will get negative marks see the next problem a buck converter is shown in the figure working in a steady state the output voltage and the inductor current can be assumed to be ripple free means we are talking about continuous conduction mode in all the question that is being asked in gate exam they are asking in continuous conduction mode only that's why i derived all the formula and all the parameter related to continuous conduction mode only figure b shows the inductor voltage vl this is the inductor voltage vl voltage across inductor is given like this during a complete switching interval this is the complete switching interval assuming all devices are ideal the duty cycle of the buck converter is means we have to find duty cycle whatever what see whenever the voltage across inductor is given then keep in mind one point that average value of voltage across inductor is always zero that is the volt second balance now i have already explained you in lecture number i think 20 so average value of voltage across inductor is always be zero so vl average will be zero so find the area means positive area must be equal to negative area in this way we can find so we can say that apply volt second balance also so volt second balance after applying this is during turn on what is the voltage across inductor it is 30 volt and turn on means t on okay and during turn off what is the voltage across inductor minus 20 volt minus 20 into t off this is the volt second balance right is equal to zero so what will be the t on upon t off that is equal to 2 by 3 so i can write like this t on upon t of can be written like this t upon t minus t on that is equal to 2 by 3 so it will be 3 t on is equal to 2 t minus 2 t on okay so it will be 5 t on is equal to 2 t so t on upon t will come out to be 2 by 5 that is nothing but duty cycle okay so d will come out to be 0. 4. So that's all about this lecture. In this way, we have completed all the questions related to buck converter that has been asked in gate exam from 1991 to 2017. None of the question is asked from buck converter in 2017. Okay. In the next lecture, we will start boost converter and we will derive all the parameters. This is the parameter. We will derive all the parameter in boost converter also, and the procedure would remain same like in buck converter that's why i'm telling you no need to remember every formula you just follow the steps like how i am finding the formula just understand that and solve any kind of problem so if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and subscribe to this channel for doubt solving you can join our facebook group thanks for watching this video